today we celebrate the venerable Pierre Toussaint, which in English should be Peter of all saints. Up to this point, even though there have been many declared saints in the Catholic Church who are black men and women, not one of them is American, but here we have a good chance. Toussaint Peter was brought to New York from Haiti as a slave by his masters, the Berard family. And once Mr. Berard died, Toussaint supported Mrs. Berard financially out of Christian charity until she remarried. He became a hairdresser at the age of 20 while still enslaved by the Berard family and catered to New York's high society. He was highly regarded for his professional abilities but more importantly because he would always listen to the problems of his clients with profound empathy. He and his wife, Juliette, who had her own business, amassed significant wealth, but also gave generously, especially to Catholic ministries related to orphans. He was one of the main fundraisers for St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's Orphanage in New York. Toussaint was also a generous donor to the Oblate Sisters of Providence, the first community of black religious. In 1991, Cardinal O'Connor began the process for his beatification and had Toussaint's body exhumed and reinterred in St. Patrick's Cathedral. He became the first layman to be buried in the crypt below the main altar. In 1996, he was declared venerable by Pope St. John Paul II. He is the only layperson to be buried at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City. How's that? Peter, like a rock of all saints, what a great name to be prayed to, to be prayed for, and to be imitated. May we all be the rocks of sainthood.